Well, I have a reason why I choose a horizontal line and not a, any other lines. A horizontal line. Okay, later you will see the reason for this horizontal line. So for this horizontal line, I am going to try to imagine a horizontal line cutting the graph. Okay, I, I don't know what is the original graph, okay? So the, a horizontal line will be cutting a graph. So I am going to, let's say, let this be my first equation. I'm going to let y be equal to, let's say, um, k be my second equation. So I'm going to try to work on two lines intersecting, two, two graphs intersecting. The curve is going to be intersecting with the horizontal line. Okay, so when I, when I start to analyze this, then I am analyzing the intersection between the horizontal line and the curve, correct? So I will do that. So I'm going to let equation number one be equal to equation number two. We have a 2x squared plus x plus one. This is going to be divided by x plus one. This is going to be equal to k. Our aim is to try to find the intersection. Simultaneous equation being applied to graph is always about finding where the two graphs happen simultaneously which is the intersection points. So I'm going to try to solve for this. We, ha we have uh, this plus x plus 1. This is kx plus k. Let's bring everything over to the left-hand side. We have this plus uh, 1 minus kx plus 1 minus k. This is equal to 0. What are we trying to do? We are trying to solve for the x-coordinates of the intersection points. Okay, we are trying to solve for the x-coordinates of the intersection points. Okay, now do I, how about instead of having this horizontal line cutting the graph, what if I let this horizontal line be floating at a place where it will not cut the graph? That means instead of letting this horizontal line be here, right? What if I were to let this horizontal line be here instead? If I were to let this horizontal line be here, floating at the region where the curve cannot lie between, then this horizontal line will not cut the curve, right? Which means that I will not be expecting a solution to this. If I'm not expecting a solution to this, according to what we discussed last week, what is the nature of roots? There's no solution. So if I were to apply the discriminant, discriminant should be less than zero for this quadratic equation, correct? So from here, I am purposely going to let the discriminant be less than zero so that this equation over here has no solution. Because I want this horizontal line to be floating in a region where the curve cannot lie between. So based on this, we have a 1 minus k squared, b squared minus 4ac. This is less than 0. If you were to expand and factorize this, you will be getting a between a minus 7 and 1. And that is, that is the beauty of why we started off with a horizontal line, not any other line. Because this horizontal line represents what? This horizontal line, this horizontal line represents y. k represents y, it is a horizontal line. k represents y, that means y is supposed to be between minus 7 and 1. Which means, as long as the horizontal line lies between minus 7 and 1, this horizontal line cannot cut the curve. And that is how we find the set of reg the region where the curve cannot lie between and we are totally independent of how the our region